Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike, and this lesson we're going to talk about archetypes in Hugo. And the best way to learn about archetypes is just to demonstrate what they do. So I'm going to open up a new terminal window, and I'm going to create a new Hugo file. I'm just going to type out Hugo new, and we'll just call it a.markdown. And let's head over to our content folder, and we'll open up a.markdown. And I want you to notice the front matter that gets created by default. So by default, we have these three values, right? Title, date, and draft. And this is basically the front matter that just gets created by default. And so it seems like you have no control over this, right? Whenever you run that Hugo new command, this just kind of pops up. And in this video, I want to talk about how it, this works. In other words, how does this default front matter get put there? And really the short answer is just archetypes. So let's head over to this archetypes folder which is right at the top here. And I wanna um, point out this file right here, which is called default.md. Now, when you create a new Hugo project, this should just be created for you automatically. And click on default.md and you'll notice that inside of default.md, we have something that looks very similar to what was in a.md. In fact, it looks almost identical. You'll see here we have title and then there's just a bunch of code here. We have date and we have draft. And the reason that this looks similar to a.markdown is because this is the template that is getting used when Hugo creates a new file like a.markdown. This is an archetype, and an archetype is basically just the default front matter template that gets used when we create a new content file. If you wanna change the default front matter that gets created in a content file, if you can modify this default.md file and it'll modify what front matter gets put into a new file. So imagine we didn't want each new file to have draft equal to true. Maybe we wanted it to have draft equal to false. Also, maybe we wanted to add by default an author field, right? So I could say uh, by default, the author is gonna be Mike. If I save this default.markdown file and then I head down into my terminal, I can type Hugo new and we'll make a new file called b.markdown. And what you'll notice is b.markdown has this default front matter. So by default, it was given draft as false and author as Mike, as opposed to A, which we created before we modified this default.md file, doesn't have those things. And so whatever you put inside this default.markdown file, that's what gets automatically placed inside of the file. Now you can actually take archetypes a step further. So by default, all files will uh, look towards this default.md file uh, for their default front matter. However, you can also define front matter uh, for specific directories. So let's come into this archetypes folder and we'll create a new file and we're just gonna call it dir1.markdown, okay? Very simple. And inside of dir1.markdown, I'm just gonna copy everything that's in this default.md file and I'm gonna paste it into here. However, I want to change a couple things. Let's change the author. So by default, instead of having the author as Mike, let's have it as Steve, okay? And also let's change this draft back to true, okay? So this markdown file with this specific name, dir1, this actually corresponds to a directory inside of the content folder. So if I come down here and I create an, uh, a new Hugo file and I place it inside of dir1, so we'll make dir1 and we'll call it c.markdown. When I create c.markdown inside of directory one, instead of having the default front matter with draft as false and Mike as the author, which it is in this default.md file, instead it's gonna have draft as true and it's gonna have Steve as the author because that's what's contained inside of this dir1.markdown file. And so when Hugo create, so when you ask Hugo to create a new content file, it goes to this archetypes folder and it looks, and the first thing it says is, okay, is there a markdown file that has the same name as the directory I'm trying to create this content file inside of? And if it does, which in the case of c.markdown it did, right, dir1.markdown, then it's gonna use the information that's inside of here to populate the front matter. If it can't find a file with the same name as the directory, it's just gonna pull from the default. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.